last night, IG Properties, the current owner of the Victoria Salmon Kings, has bought a WHL team, the Chilliwack Bruins. But as the dust settles on this deal, there are many questions tonight on what this means for Victoria hockey fans. Jet News reporter Kylie Stetton has that story. It's likely one of the last practices on home ice for the Salmon Kings. But these players are focused on playoffs, not politics. It's all but certain the ECHL team is on its way out after a deal was signed for RG Properties to buy the Western Hockey League's Chilliwack Bruins. Well, I think it's probably the worst kept secret in, in hockey. It's going to be interesting to see how it shakes down for sure. The league isn't new to the city. The Victoria Cougars played top-level junior hockey for 23 seasons, producing some big names. And Barry. Now that's an interesting pair. It's this kind of excitement the WHL is known for. Players full of heart with their NHL dreams within reach. But it comes at a cost. We are losing something for sure. I mean, um, it's a different, total different style of hockey. I mean, uh, they play like pros. They, they know the game. Uh, they play smarter. There's fewer mistakes. Whereas junior is a step above the BC Hockey League. But the East Coast Hockey League is obviously a step above the Western League for sure. I'm upset. For Daryl Dagno, a Navy officer by day and Sam Kings fan by night, the news has been tough to take. It's not right. To me, it's it's lab based. So there's, there's hundreds and hundreds of fans for, for the ECHL. People come to it all the time. Those fans are speaking out against the decision. Online discussion forums are flooded with comments. Many casting doubt the city will truly embrace the new league. I doubt most Victorians want the WHL. For Daryl, his mind is made up. I'm not happy. My wife's not happy. We've talked about it. Um, we're probably going to uh, not sign up next year for WHL if it happens. We'll, we'll put our money to something else. Fans aren't the only ones taking a stand. Chilliwack is fighting back as well. We have an excellent fan base here that has supported the team right from the beginning um, that is just uh, so loyal to the Bruins. And so I think that they're feeling a little hurt, a little disappointed that, you know, they're the last ones to know. Well, the Bruins haven't come out and told us anything. And, and, and that's a concern, you know, because this is a really, it is a hockey town. Details of the deal are still scarce, and it could be some time before an official announcement is made giving Victoria a chance to get behind this team while it still can. Joins joins us now, likely Santa Cruz playing tonight, it's likely one of their final games in Victoria. Yeah, I tell you what, Tony, this is a debate that will rage on for several weeks yet. We're not likely to get a formal announcement until after the WHL Board of Governors approves the sale, and that probably won't happen until after the season ends. But either way you look at it, this weekend could mark the final regular season home series for the Salmon Kings. And tonight, the Kings to the, took to the ice in front of a great crowd down at Savon Foods Memorial Center, facing off against their old foe from up north, the Alaska Aces, who are number one in the ECHL right now. But Victoria gave them a run for their money tonight. We have complete highlights for you in just a bit. But first, here's what some of the fans of the game had to say about all this WHL talk. Yeah, I've enjoyed uh, ECHL. I, I've, I've enjoyed the level of play, and, uh, and it's, been, it's, you know, it's nice to see uh, grown men playing the game. I'm so used to professional hockey, so every time we didn't see any juniors yet, I'd rather see the kids stay. We've been here since the inaugural season in Bear Mountain, and then season's tickets ever, you know, ever since, so I don't know about the Western Hockey League. Well, I love junior hockey. It's great. Great fun to watch. Uh, but you go down the, the road, if uh, you do that, you're getting away from a professional hockey team that's affiliated with the Canucks. You lose that affiliation. You pick up a team that possibly could be a lot of fun to watch, but you know it, it's, uh, the support wasn't, wasn't there before for the VHL. Uh, the will be there in the future. It's going to be the real gas. So it sounds like a done deal, Tony, but it's going to be uh, really interesting to see how this all shakes out in the next couple of weeks.